Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to do some reactions to The Walking Dead. This is going up after I've finished posting all of the Fear the Walking Dead. It is currently August 2nd and I decided I'm going to go ahead and record season 10 because I want to watch other reactors and how they responded to things and I'm anxious to see what happens on the show. I am spoiled by a couple of things. I do know that, hold on, I know that Michonne is leaving and I know that Maggie comes. I don't. I think not until the very last episode, but I, I know those two things are happening. The news about Michonne was all over the place, including Skybound. Skybound ruined the Maggie thing for me because they had it in a thumbnail and in the title reactors react to Maggie's return or something like that. So <laughs> I know those two things are happening. Um, I know it's going to be about the whispers. I know that Negan plays a pivotal role, you know, we through the, throughout the whole series. I had just started rewatching all the episodes as a whole. I've been watching reactors um, react to it in general, but I am, Hold on, we got to get comfortable. The series itself is kept pretty fresh for me. I had just started to rewatch it um, because I knew they should be releasing season 10 soon. And lo and behold, the day after I decided to rewatch the whole series, they a Netflix released um, season 10. So there's 22 episodes. We've got the whispers going on. They crossed a boundary they weren't supposed to cross. And they were like, oh, they won't notice. But yet we've got frozen zombie busted everywhere. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, how are they not going to notice that? Uh, so basically I gathered, I, I when I saw the final episode for nine and they showed our group in the blizzard, but yet the whispers were in like a summery type of environment. Some explained that it wasn't clear, but they the whispers tend to move south when it gets cold, and then they move back north when it gets warm again. Again, that's them playing with the timeline, so you can't keep track of things, and so that's possible, and that makes sense. That makes a lot better sense than they just happen to find the warmest spot <laughs> in all of Virginia. Negan has started building his trust with the group, um, helping save Judy uh, during the blizzard. Uh, he and Michonne kind of had, I, I think, their first decent conversation at the end of that episode. We saw just some horrific things that happened to Michonne. Um, we've got RJ now, and we didn't see a lot of RJ, but we saw glimpses of him. Baby Herschel is with Maggie, and they're with George, Georgia, Georgina, and the twins. We've got some of the old Savior crew still. Enid's boyfriend. I forget his name. The first Savior that kind of turned and joined Rick in the gang. We've got him still, from what I remember. We've got the music teacher. We've got... Oh... Um, we've got the lady who is deaf that does sign language, and she and Daryl get along pretty well. And everybody was hoping for them to be um, a couple or something like that, but I think they're going to keep Daryl as asexual and um, just not into the relationship thing. But I think he likes his friendship with her just like he likes his friendship with Carol. I do know that... Carol and Daryl. I my mind is terrible lately. I do know that they survive all the way to the end because they're getting their own spin-off show. Yes, that was spoiled too. <laughs> so let's see. Who am I missing? The king is still alive, I believe. Yes, the king is still alive. The reactors I'm watching right now are nowhere near episode nine or season nine. Jerry is still alive with his wife and their kids. Yeah, 
that's um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head without having long, long, long pauses that I haven't already edited out <laughs> um, to figure out who's coming next. I'm sure there's going to be a bit of a recap um, at the beginning of this season, but um, I just want to go ahead and get to it and watch. So let's see what happens. Forgot about satellites still spinning around in space. I guess we're not getting a recap. Oh, Seaside. I forgot about Seaside. Or Surfside. I forget what they were called. Oceanside. <laughs> we'll get there. Is that an anchor? Or satellite piece? A lot of familiar faces. Ugh. The makeup just gets better and better. Good job. I think that's Aaron that's leading them in the training. But now he doesn't have his spear. Uh oh, it's gonna be a real training day. We're off to an exciting start. Yeah, they did good. Tara would have been proud. Oh, Tara. I know that song. Say hi, RJ. Yeah. Let's see what she found. RJ's talking. Found a mask. Oh, I forgot about um, Nerdy Guy. I forget his name. He'll come to me when, once I say it. <laughs> tell her not to leave again without saying goodbye. All right. Carol's been taken off on trips. I don't give a shit about the whisperers or where they stand. I'm not just talking about the whispers. All the different groups that they've run into. Why is Aaron being careless? That was stupid. Is that because of his we agreed not to cross fear? Or to start anything without a reason. I lost Rick on a... On a bridge. And I'm goddamn sick of being nice. Well, good. Cause nice never got me anywhere. Eric is dead because of Negan. Campfire. Cans. Got an alarm system. Do we have more cannibals? Are the walkers dead? They're naked. And onto the bridge, and on the other side, all his friends were waiting. Keeping Rick alive. <laughs> Act embarrassed. So one thing I wonder about is if they're going to ever find out in this season that Rick's alive somehow. I don't think they will, but I wonder about it. Is that the satellite? Pieces of the satellite. Eugene's on the radio. He needs to talk to you now. Eugene. What does it mean? Are they back? That's whose voice that was. I'm the little, little baby. Is Eugene taking over doctor duties? Oh, is that their baby? Oh, that's uh, hers and uh, the doctor's baby. <laughs> Did a good job swaddling him. Or her. Is it Livia? Lydia. In a whole Lydia. new world for you. Fine. Exactly the same as it was 20 minutes ago. He was a teacher, right? Still giving him the cold shoulder. I thought he had gained some trust, though, after the blizzard. So did he do something afterwards? That's right. He was left alive. Cool. Sometimes babies need to cry. I reorganized the meds. Infirmary. He home. looks familiar, but I don't I remember what group he's today? from. Or should I say God? 
<laughs> He's a weird one. I don't remember him. Yesterday, I was public enemy number one. Now, well, now I'm the guy that... He's got a plant in his cell. And ...takes out the trash and feel secure. Even if it's just... Do you sure. always have two well, windows in the cell? I follow me around. Daryl and Dog. I'm glad to see Dog still alive. They're not giving us the language to know what they're saying now. Telling her she's strong. Something about being together, I believe. <laughs> you gotta eat more birds. Chocolate sauce. <laughs> what seagull tastes like? Not chicken. <laughs> she likes you better. <laughs> Good job, Daryl. <laughs> really? It's like when I talk Spanish it, with a southern accent. It's Carol! What was in his pocket? I tried to forget everything that happened. It was good. Looking for Omega never have to think about or Alpha. Weeks ever again. I'm only I'm only here until the next boat heads out. All right. Tell her not do. tell her not to leave without saying goodbye. I was gonna say that's a weird way for it to come out from behind the tree. You had that one. Well, you're supposed to call it. You didn't call Is it. Is that a call back to that other group? Uh, What's going on now? I'm a sea dog, man. Why don't you get off my ass before I put you? I forget if he's my great great uncle or great uncle or some other title, but on my father's side, we have the a narrative account of the family tree and everything and he talks about being a cb s-e-a-b-e-e -E -E. that was what his unit was called or something like that but it was part of the navy i believe every time i hear sea dog i think cb it's really cute with tiny little seashells oh my god i'll take it back oh what's your favorite i love color? them should we make a matching collar for dog <laughs> I get what Maggie's doing with Georgie. I still, Georgie, that's right. Um, I still feel like it would be great if for the final season, season 11, they brought uh, Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead together. Um, especially hearing this talk, there's got to be people like us out there. I would love for them to get together. I don't know if that will happen though. New Mexico. What the hell's in New Mexico? People who weave bracelets. <laughs> he made her a bracelet. So where's the satellite piece is going to hit? Is that the satellite? That's the second time they've made sure that we know it's a USSR satellite. I think the U.S. has more satellites than any of the countries. I forget the name of the guy whose wife also died uh, at the hands of Alpha. Start trying to throw some dirt on it. I have a friend who calls me boss all the time and it drives me nuts because he does it in front of like his bosses and stuff like that <laughs> and we met because I was supervising him for his license and then we became friends after that and we've worked some jobs together and and uh jobs in between and all that kind of stuff but he still to this day hey boss 
Are these the whispers? I have one of those parts. They're handy. We're attracted to the fire, we know that. But how many of them are real and how many of them are whispers? Embers can reignite. You've got to get it all and you have to keep an eye on it for a while. My neighbor's house burned down and it was smoldering a week later. All I could think of with that one hit is stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> That's the one girl from the Saviors. Ah, oh, smart. Smoke inhalation. Hey, uh, you genius? What about radiation, man? Funny. That's where she showed him the hoard. I can't see what she's seeing. I hear a walker, but I can't see it. Oh, no, it's Alpha. We're off to an interesting start. They kind of uh, basically showed us where everybody is at right now, as well as giving us some new content. They've been trying to prepare, trying not to live in fear, but trying to respect the Whisper's rules at the same time. But now... They've crossed the line and the whispers know about it. So will they take it as a good faith gesture because of the fire or will they say they should have let it burn um, type of thing? So interesting. <coughs> she likes it and hates it at the same time. <coughs> yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Because I'm right on your arthritis. We need to do your medicine this morning. In my opinion, we're off to a good start. We even had some action this first episode, which I wasn't really expecting. I was trying to think if there's anybody that they didn't show other than the whispers. Um, I mean, they showed Alpha at the end, but that was it. And I couldn't tell if Alpha was making herself known or if she was just wandering out taking a walk herself and just happened to notice Carol up, up on the cliff. So I'm not sure about that. At first I thought she was just making herself known. Now I'm not sure. It looks like Lydia is still kind of getting shunned a little bit. Uh, Negan is getting shunned more than I expected him to. I expected people to still be angry with him, but I didn't expect them to still shun him. And maybe it's just Michonne that he has built some rapport with, but we haven't seen her interact with him yet. So I don't know if that's holding true or not. We will have to see. On to the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me on this one. I will see you on the next one. Bye.